Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than two minutes. Simple, fast, and fun. Today we are talking about peptides and amino acids. So what are peptides? There's a lot of buzz about peptides and what they can do for your skin, your joints, muscles, and just your overall health in general. But what exactly are they? Your body makes peptides. They are found in every single cell and tissue. Think of peptides as nothing more than short chains of amino acids. Well, what's an amino acid? Amino acids are molecules that combine to form proteins in your body. It's important to remember that peptides and proteins are not the same. Peptides are tiny messengers that deliver instructions to your cells to perform certain processes. They're like a key, and each and every function within our body requires a key to take place. So peptides are this key that has a very specific job. When proteins are digested or broken down, amino acids are what are left over. The human body uses these amino acids to help the body do things like break down your food, build your muscles and grow, repair your tissues, make hormones and brain chemicals, build your cells, and boost your immune system. Amino acids can also be used as a source of energy by your body. There's 20 amino acids in total that combine to make protein that's found in your body, and they're typically classified into two groups. You have your essential amino acids and your non-essential amino acids. The essential amino acids cannot be made by the body, so they have to come from somewhere. We get these amino acids from our food, and there's nine essential amino acids. Then we have our non-essential amino acids. The name is very misleading because we actually do in fact need these amino acids. They perform essential roles, but since they're made by our body, they're not an essential part of your diet. The easiest way to think of this is that you still can get non-essential amino acids from your food. You just don't need to worry about getting enough of these amino acids since your body will make the amino acids and fill in any gaps not met by your diet. In total, there are 11 non-essential amino acids. You can find out more information at peptides.com. That's peptides without the D, where we're tying all the peptide information together for you in a simple, easy way. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. If you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media. Leave us a comment if you like, subscribe to our podcast, and we'll see you next time on the Peptide Podcast. Have a happy, healthy week.